Here we go. I don't feel like setting up any lights today, so natural light it is. Sometimes. <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes, sometimes you find a feature or a, a tool in editing software that is almost annoyingly good. I'm still relatively new to DaVinci Resolve, so there are a lot of things that I'm still finding out, still learning about, and lately I've been playing around with this tool called Relight. It does exactly... Creaky floor, I'm sorry. It does pretty much exactly what the title says it does. It relights your footage in post. And it does it well. Like, like really well. And I just think I need to share this with you because because these features, these machine learning AI features, they're only gonna get better. And I think this might be a tool that we can all use quite a lot in the future. All right, so here we are. Uh, DaVinci Resolve. All right. Sorry, I've got a clip behind me that this uh, effect works uh, pretty well on. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you exactly what Relight does and how it can be useful in your projects. The scene is already uh, lit uh, with uh, two lights uh, and some practical lights. Um, they're already in the kitchen. Point is, it's an already. Uh, lit scene and light already looks okay. And this is where I think that the real light effect uh, works really well because it sort of makes your footage even better. Like you can change the lighting slightly. Let's say you forgot to bring a light, you want to add some, some nice uh, side light or enhance another light that you have on set that might not have been bright enough. Am I rambling? Maybe. Let's just jump into DaVinci and I'll show you how this works, okay? So this is our scene in a kitchen apartment. We have a model here in the middle that is a pretty evenly light, nothing fancy. It's pretty straightforward, I think. So let's say I want to make this a little bit better. I want to maybe enhance the light here on her left side. Maybe make that uh, side the edges pop a little bit more than it does right now. First thing I would do is create a new node. I'm just going to rename this Relight so that you can see that it's this that I'm talking about. I'm going to search for Relight up here in the Effects tab. I'm going to throw that on there and as you can see straight away what DaVinci does <laughs> You can see I'm already at a loss for words. What DaVinci does is that it can see... <laughs> it can see the environment in your footage. It has created a depth map for this light. So that, so that it, you can move this light around in your scene. Create new light wherever you want to. It feels a little bit too easy, doesn't it? A little bit too good to be true. Obviously, you can see me moving the light around here. It looks pretty cool, but obviously, it looks even cooler when you can see it changing the actual scene. So, I'm just gonna uncheck this uh, this map preview box. That way. That way we can't see the actual depth map anymore. So, to see what this light is doing, we actually have to change um, change our parameters down here. So, I'm just going to bump up my gain quite a lot just to make it, uh, just to make it clear, just so we can see what this effect is doing. Uh, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller again. And now, look what happens when I move this around. Can you see how that is lighting the scene?
You see? Look at that. Look at this. You can actually see how the light is lighting her arms from below, but not from the top. Look at her face. You can see her face being lit from below. From the side. From the left side. From the top. Look at her arms right here. Yeah, that's very cool. You can also do it the other way around. Maybe you want to add some uh, some shadow instead. So maybe we'll just lower the gamma a little bit. Just gonna see. Maybe we'll make this smaller. Look at this. Now we're only changing. Try to make this a little bit bigger. Look. Now we're making the shadow shadow side on the left side stronger while the right side of her face stays the same. Uh, one problem with uh, this is right now, as I'm doing this, you can see that it's sort of lighting the entire scene evenly. So, in my case, I don't want to change the light of the background at all. I just want to light her up a little bit on the side. Alright, so how do we do that? First off, I'm just gonna reset this, so we don't see this anymore. I'm gonna keep our relight right there, then I'm gonna go create a new node. I'm gonna add that into our tree. And from the blue, I'm gonna connect that to the blue. And in here, I'm gonna go down to our magic mask. And I am going to uh, draw a mask on her. Change the quality to better. I'm just going to let Da Vinci do its thing. All right, so now that our um, footage is tracked, like our magic mask is tracked, uh, we do have a a uh, nice mask around our model. So, when this little node is plugged in to relight through this little blue uh, pathway, that means that the relight effect is only going to affect what's inside of this mask, which currently is our model. So, if we start affecting the light here again, I'm just gonna exaggerate a little bit again, you can now see that it's not, not that it's no longer affecting the background. It is only affecting our model. How cool is that? So let's say maybe I wanted some stronger light from the laptop on her face. Maybe I would like to add that light right here somewhere. You see that? How that sort of looks like it's coming from the laptop. I can add one right here for her fingers. Then maybe I'll add one a little bit closer to her face. Or like I was talking to before, I just wanted to sort of make the light here on her left side a little bit stronger, so she pops a little bit more. I can do that too. Maybe I want a little bit more exciting light coming from this side. I think you get the idea. It's just a an effect that I think can be incredibly useful when it comes to like making your light better in post. Uh, so yeah, that is what I wanted to show you: the relight effect in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's uh, <laughs> annoyingly good, and I think it's going to be used a lot in the future. I mean, it's only going to get better. All right, that is it. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next uh, the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> Are you locked down? Oh, it's a shame. You just ruined my shot. I always try to spin the camp, but that's embarrassing.